Uh, I'm Simpiwe Hamilton. I'm the executive director of uh, the South African Defence Industry Association, AMD, which is one of four partners uh, in the AAD partnership. Uh, the other partners being the Department of Defence, AMSCO, and uh, a sister organisation called CASA, the Commercial Aerospace uh, Association of South Africa. Uh, the show itself is a national asset that has been going on for the last, uh, it will be 22 years next year and therefore next year will be our 11th installment and most importantly it will coincide uh, with the 100th year anniversary of the South African Air Force and we hope to see it becoming a, a much more bigger and successful show. I think the starting point is to understand that AAD is probably amongst the top five, top six uh, global exhibitions that we have similar to DSCI, DSA, LAD and all the other shows. Uh, it, is, is, it is a continental or a sub-regional show, it's not just a South African show. We have the privilege of hosting it, but uh, it, is, it is a sub-regional show uh, that allows not only South African and some of the African defense companies to, to exhibit, but a global presence uh, of no less than 40, 43 countries uh, in terms of uh, ex exhibitors that come in. Uh, but also delegations uh, from in excess of 50 countries that get invited uh, with uh, more than uh, 10 of those coming from the sub-region itself. South Africa is a, a gateway uh, into the continent. Uh, South Africa has got the requisite industrial base uh, for providing a, a strong uh, support uh, of various defense equipment uh, and has got its own indigenous technologies and therefore there's quite a lot of possibilities for partnerships, uh, for collaboration and for working together in meeting uh, client needs uh, across the globe. We ourselves export to no, to no less than 100 countries globally uh, and to every continent and uh, we look forward to another 20 years of exports from South Africa. The country itself is a, is a, is a gem uh, in many respects. We've got a few uh, World Heritage sites, uh, we've got the Cradle of Humankind, uh, and we've got uh, a climate that throughout the year is fairly hospitable and, and please, uh, pleasing to attend. But uh, in September it's spring, uh, so there's quite a lot more that people can get to do as well. So the, the, there's a, an offering that goes beyond just the business opportunities that are there in terms of tourism and many other aspects uh, related to that. I think there's, there's two areas. I've already mentioned CEF 100. I think it's a seminal milestone. We are privileged to have the second oldest Air Force in the world. And therefore, I would think that we're going to put a spectacular in terms of that side of the show because we've got both the exhibition and the air show. So we're going to have an ex a, 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 a spectacular air show, uh, hopefully supported by other nations uh, in, in commemoration with the South African Air Force. But more importantly, South Africa and the continent are both on a rebound. Um, and we would want to see that as the, the economy regains, the country uh, stabilizes uh, and comes out, of various challenges that we've been faced with, that we start building new partnerships and strengthening the previous ones. So we look forward to welcoming our previous partners that we've worked with in the past, but we encourage the others to also come back uh, and start working with us all over again. 16 to 20 September 2020 in Air Force Base Waterloo, Tswane, South Africa.